stable, secure, affordable, window eyes. Welcome to another GW Micro How Do I Do That presentation. Today's presentation is going to talk about how to open and save attachments using Outlook 2010 when you're inside of a message that has an attachment. I already have Outlook 2010 open and I'm in my inbox. I'm going to press my down arrow so you can hear my message that's on the screen. Red attachment from Drew Markley subject message for training with either received when 1 11 20 12 9 25 a.m. size 54 kb. So it tells me there's an attachment as well as who it's from, the subject, and other information. I'm going to press my enter key to open this up. And by the way, that down arrow and this enter key are Microsoft keystrokes. So those are keystrokes that will work even when Window Eyes is not running. Message for training with either message HTML. Style normal column one of one web layout message for training with either. Okay, so I'm now in my message and I know that there are attachments. I could press Alt-7, a Window Eyes hotkey, that would read all of the attachments that I have. It would tell me message, because Outlook 2010 has this thing first, it's a message tab, and then you would have the attachments laid out in a horizontal fashion. So essentially what you have there inside of your message is, is it tells you who it's from, who it's to, if anybody's carbon copied, as well as a subject, and then below that, visually you would have a tab that says message and then to the right of that would be the first attachment to the right of that would be the second attachment to the right of that would be the third attachment and so on so i could press alt 7 and have all that read to me of course that doesn't do me a whole lot of good because i actually need to access these attachments instead i'm going to press alt 7 twice because that will actually place focus in those attachments inside of this particular message Alt 7 twice. A attachments message list box. So it tells me it's attachments. I'm on this message tab and that this thing is a list box. Well, normally you would up and down arrow in a list box, but since these are laid, laid out horizontally, you actually have to right and left arrow between them. So I can right arrow. Basic window eyes commands dot dot 29 worksheet dot PDF 5 K right arrow Excel again. example spreadsheet dot XLSX 13 K. I press control to silence that, but you can see there are several attachments. I could press enter to open one of these, or I could press shift F10 uh, or my context menu key, which would bring up a context menu that I could use to open or save these. But with window eyes, there's a much simpler and easier way. So rather than having to go up to where the attachments are, I can press a window eyes hotkey, which is control alt A, control alt A. Let's see what this does, control alt A. Attachments A basic window eyes commands dot doc. Size 29k B list view one of three dialogue attachments. So what this does is it brings up a special attachments dialogue. This is a window eyes feature. This is not part of Outlook, so this is a really handy feature of window eyes. It puts them in a nice list, tells me how many there are, which we did not hear before, tells me the size of them, and I can now up and down arrow in this list. So if I down arrow app with either worksheet dot PDF size five K B two of three. If I down arrow again, Excel example spreadsheet dot XLSX size 13 KB three of three. So it tells me three of three. Well, what if I wanted to do something with one of these particular attachments, such as open it or save it? Maybe I want to open this attachment. I'll press tab. Open O button. There's open, nice and simple. Also, it said that the accelerator was O, so while I was in the list, I could have just pressed Alt-O and it would have opened this. Let's see what other buttons are here. If I tab again. Save as, S dialog button. Save as, tab again. Delete D button. I can even delete attachments out of a message. I'll tab again. Close button. Close, and I'll tab once more. Attachments A, Excel, example, spreadsheet, dot XLSX, size 13, KB, list view, three of three. All right, so instead of uh, tabbing to open and pressing uh, enter, I'm just going to do an Alt-O. O. Oh. Opening Microsoft that, Excel. That activated the open button. Microsoft Excel dash Excel example spreadsheet left bracket protected view right bracket. Excel example spreadsheet dot XLSX sheet 1D11. And that opened up Microsoft Excel. It opened up the attachment. Pretty easy, very simple when using window eyes. I'm going to alt tab back to my message. Message for training with either message HTML. Task switching message for training with either message HTML. And now I'm going to do control alt A again. Attachments A basic window eyes commands dot doc size 29 KB list view. One of three dialogue attachments. 
Well, what if I wanted to save this particular attachment? I'm going to tab to the Save As button. Open Save As S dialog button. I could have also pressed Alt S while I was up in the list, and I'll press Enter here. File name basic window eyes commands combo edit box. Dialog save attachment. And it brings up the save attachments dialog just like you would save any file inside of Microsoft Word. You'd simply find out where you want to save this and save it to that spot and you'd be all set. As you can see, opening and saving attachments using window eyes is really, really simple. Now I'm not going to save this particular attachment, so I'll just press escape. Save as S dialog button. Dialog attachments attachment. I'll press control to silence that. If I ever wanted to just get out of my attachments dialog, I can simply press escape again. Message for training with either message HTML. I'm back in my message. I can close that by either doing an Alt F4 or an escape. Microsoft Excel dash Excel example spreadsheet left bracket protected view right bracket. And you Excel can example spreadsheet dot Excel SX sheet 1D11. And you can see that I still have my attachment open here so I could go back and easily start working with my attachment even with my message closed. Again, really simple using window eyes. Thanks for joining us for another How Do I Do That presentation from GW Micro. For any technical support questions, you can contact our technical support department at support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at gwmicro.com or call technical support at 260-489-3671. Stable, secure, affordable, window eyes.